Revelation 2066. From the 11th of September 1941. Protection of the pure, word of God against earthly measures. The desire for spiritual food is the condition for receiving it, and if you offer it, you will hunger and thirst for it. Consider this when worldly measures are directed against you and you seem to lose everything that offered you spiritual nourishment until now. Consider that the word of God is offered to you more precious than you have ever possessed it. Consider that you want to be deprived of human work and that the pure divine word from above is offered to you in return, thus you will not lose anything but receive far more precious things, but that you first have to feel a deep desire for them before God himself feeds you. You will still be put to great tests so that you will have to decide which spiritual direction you want to follow, and then it will not be easy to profess Christ and his word. In view of the fact that his word will be made inaccessible to people, and even the believers will start to doubt because God allows his word to be denigrated. But he knows why he allows it to happen, for you will not lose anything but gain infinitely more, he will give you the unadulterated word in all purity and also his blessing with the word. And anyone who longs for the food of heaven will be allowed to feast on it for God himself is in the word with those who long for him. And he will protect this word and not abandon it to the evil will of those who want to destroy everything that betrays Christian thinking. The word which comes from above gives knowledge of his will again, it will be people's comfort and strength in the most difficult time, it will spread from mouth to mouth and be greedily received by those who had to give away everything they had hitherto considered precious. God knows about this time of need and takes precautions by quietly allowing to come into being what the world plans to destroy. What descends to earth is of divine origin, it is spiritual good which the world and its followers will never be able to destroy. But what they destroy no longer has the claim to be unadulterated and pure. Truth. For this reason God does not hinder their plan for before this plan was conceived God foresaw people's will, and he provides people with his word on you so that they will not have to live in want when earthly power deprives them of it in the coming time. Amen.